G'day everyone, my name is Callum Martin, I am here at my shop AVDC and we have got something cool on the bench today. This is a brand new amplifier, to Australia at least, Audison's SR series 5 channel amplifier. So this has literally just arrived so I'm pretty excited to check it out. First of all, some of the key features on the box at least, we've got controls on the top panel that might seem like a pretty simple thing but when it's installed in the car and you're trying to adjust it that's a pretty cool feature and this is quite important this is Audison's USS technology universal speakers simulator that is quite important because more and more factory head units will not operate properly with the speakers disconnected from them USS enables a factory head unit to connect to this amplifier without disabling its speaker outputs that's a very important thing. In terms of specifications, in brief at least, this amplifier has a CEA rating of 75 watts by four and 300 watts by one, all into a four ohm load, but it's also capable of 550 watts into a two ohm load. So that's a pretty substantial subwoofer channel for what is essentially a fairly compact five channel amplifier. And it can also do 115 watts by four at two ohms. So that's all fantastic. What we're really here to do is have a look at it. So I'm gonna crack this open. I haven't even been in this before, even to have a check. So pretty cool to see. All right. <laughs> well, it's an amplifier in a box, great. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at what comes in the box apart from the amplifier. As you would expect, we have a user manual and as Audison often do, this covers the entire SR lineup, not just the five channel. And as Audison do, it is multilingual as well. It's got quite a lot of detailed information in here about uh, connecting the power system and the sizing of the cables to use, including some calculation tables to work out how big you should make the power cable and the speaker cables. That's good to see. And look, I mean, this is actually quite detailed, um, quite, uh, intricate in fact because this this amplifier is capable of running a lot of different ways and uh, it looks like they've covered every instance for every amplifier which is great and then in our pack of accessories we've got the screws quite long screws you don't just use any old things on this so uh, you want to hold on to those screws because they're they're going to suit very specifically got a tuning screwdriver that's really nice that's a lovely touch actually it's the first time I've seen Audison include one um, which is really nice. And we have some input connector harnesses. I'm assuming that's for the high level inputs. And there's three pairs there, although there's this extra connector as well. We'll have to find out what that does. And some spare fuses. Cool. So let's have a look at this amplifier itself. Lovely. It may not surprise you to see that Audison have gone for a minimalistic black look for this amplifier because it's in keeping with a lot of Audison's gear. Uh, very understated, very classy. So this is all aluminium. It's all nice and cold to the touch. It's beautiful. And we've got a, a textured satin finish here and we've also got a brushed cover here. Audison embossed there and the model number as well as the power light. Now, I'm starting to see why they included this screwdriver. Because not only are you going to use that to adjust the dials, you're also going to use that to remove these screws to gain access to your controls. So that's pretty cool. A favorite part of this amplifier, for me at least, is that all of our connections are on one end. So if this is mounted under a seat, or under a beauty panel, or really wherever it's mounted, connections can be really neat and tidy because they're not coming out either end or all around the amplifier, they're all along the bottom. That's a really nice touch in my opinion. So it's actually quite a simple panel considering we've got a five channel amplifier in here. We've got our power connections here, which take an eight gauge uh, wire size at the most. We've got remote in and out, and that explains what the two pin connector is here. That is our remote in and out. So they utilize a plug for that. You've then got your speaker connections and everything is labeled so that you can actually view it from 
looking down on the amplifier as opposed to hiding markings underneath the terminal. So that's really nice. The top row is all positive, the bottom row is all negative, and it's really quite nicely laid out. Front, rear, and subwoofer, left and right RCA inputs. And we have here front, rear, and subwoofer, high level speaker inputs from your factory head unit or factory amplifier. And as I mentioned earlier, they have the universal speaker simulator circuitry. So they work with, well, I can imagine nearly every factory unit out there, which is brilliant. And we have a connector for the optional subwoofer level control as well. So really neat, really well organized. Uh, I love how that works. All the terminals along the bottom, that's great. So I reckon the next step, so grab this little screwdriver and let's have a look under this cover. Now, as good as the user manual is, I'm really hoping that I don't have to refer to it to make sense of what's going on under this cover. So let's see if that's the case. Oh, that's beautiful. That's solid brushed aluminium. Fantastic. So we've got our controls here. It doesn't look like much. It's just this little panel here, but there is a little bit more to it than you might first think. And that's because this amplifier is extremely flexible and it's capable of running a number of different ways quite easily without having to use additional hardware. So we've got pretty clearly labeled sections for front, rear and subwoofer channels, but we've got a number of different features as well. So we've got ART, which is Audison's automatic remote turn on, and that is your signal sensing turn on from high level inputs. That only works with the high level inputs, but with that enabled, if it detects a signal from your factory head unit, it will turn this amplifier on without a remote connection. The great thing is that the remote output on that little plug will work with that. So if you've got an extra amplifier, you can use the signal sensing turn on on this to turn on your other amplifier or equipment. So it's possible to configure the inputs of this amplifier a number of different ways. Of course, if you have a full set of inputs for front, rear and subwoofer, whether they're RCA or high level speaker inputs, that's easy. But what if you've got a factory head unit that only has front and rear speaker outputs? Well, all you have to do is flick this switch here and the subwoofer channel will take its input from the front channels. Likewise, if you've only got left and right just one set of inputs to this amplifier, whether they're speaker inputs or RCA inputs, if we flick the switch here, it will run entirely from front left and front right channels. So it's very flexible. And that's something you don't see in every amplifier. It makes it really good because we can set this up in any car, no matter what source it's running with, or no matter the connections we have available to us. So that's really good. This amplifier is also capable of running an active speaker system, which means that it can run tweeters and mid bass from the four channels without using an external passive crossover set, which is pretty cool. All we have to do is flick this switch here to band and use our range switch to set our high pass filter for the tweeters on the front channels. And that automatically sets the low pass filter for the mid bass connected to the rear channels. You can then also set the high pass filter for the mid bases on the rear channels as well. So that's fantastic. You can use this amplifier for an active two way front stage and a subwoofer without any other hardware all built into this amplifier. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, who wants to see inside this thing? I know I do, so let's crack into it. Well, look, that's honestly really neat. This is quite a big power toroid here. It's um, obviously got a decently sized power supply for uh, its power output. Got transistors clamped along the top here, as well as presumably under the circuit board as well. And we've got all of our crossovers, which are accessible on the front panel, all sitting here. Now I'm assuming here we've got some power supply circuitry, some of the small signal power supply circuitry or control circuitry sitting on this little daughter board as well. And being a class D amplifier, we've got our output filters along here for the four channels and a big one here for the fifth channel. Look, overall, this is a really neat, clean set of amplifier internals. Uh, there's really not a whole lot I can fault on this. So um, well done to Audison for that. So guys, that is the Audison SR 5.600 amplifier. I'm really impressed with this, but I'm even more excited about putting it into a car very soon. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to check out the other videos on our channel.